Hello and welcome to another installment of DigitalMediaTutorials.com. My name is Tommy Hodges and this is part three of our black and white project. Today we're going to be working with multiple layers using the eyedropper. I'm going to show you how to load a selection and fill that selection with your foreground color. On the right hand side look at our layers palette. You've got your jeans layer and of course you've got the original layer. To turn these layers on and off you can click on the little eyeball here and it'll turn my layer on and off. Notice when I turn the original layer off you see only the jeans layer. Check it out and it's transparent. You can kind of see through it. And that's what I was talking about earlier about um, in part two. You'll notice on the jeans layer the opacity is set to 19 percent. Okay so here's the deal. Let's say I want to continue painting this but um, I need to get this the shade of blue. What do I do? I look at my uh, my color swatches over here, my foreground and my background colors, neither one of them are blue like my jeans. How can I find out how to get the exact same color? Easy. But first I want to show you the wrong way. This is your eyedropper tool. Okay? Eyedropper tool. Go ahead and select that. Then select the layer that you want to sample the color in this case from. In this case it's the jeans layer. And now click on your jeans and now it's saying this is the color but I'm gonna tell you this is wrong okay because watch what happens let me grab my paintbrush and I'm gonna start painting Can you see that this is actually not the same shade of blue as this why is Photoshop saying that that is the color or the shade of blue that I use to paint these jeans well, it's looking at the fact that this is the layer is transparent. So here's what you have to do. You must change your opacity back to 100% before using your eyedropper tool to match the color. Notice, look at the big difference here. Look at it. So use your eyedropper. Click on the blue. Now you can bring your opacity back down. And I'm going to use my eraser tool and I'm going to get rid of this stuff here that I painted. Get back to my paintbrush tool. And now watch. When I paint, nice and neat. Okay, perfect match. Now let's paint on multiple layers. We've got our jeans layer. Let's make a brand new layer. I'm going to go down to the bottom click on this guy create a new layer let's go ahead and name this double click on the name and let's call this jacket all right let's see let's paint our jacket let's go with a, a green color hit OK and I'm gonna start painting Now right now it's a great big blob. Not so pretty. We want to bring this down. Click on your jacket layer. Go to the opacity. Bring it down. And as I'm bringing it down, you'll be able to see through that layer by dragging the opacity down. Adjust it to what you like. And then you can continue painting. It's easy as that. Okay. Let me show you a faster way to keep up with your colors while you're painting. We know this is the right shade of green in our foreground for our jacket, but I want the blue. Here's a cool way to do that. So you still have both of those colors up here at the same time. Go back to your jeans layer, change the opacity back to 100% for that layer. And now here, click on the double arrows. See how it switches your foreground and background? Switch it so that the green is now your background color and now use your eyedropper and select the blue. Now the blue is showing as your foreground, the green is your background. That's a nice way to keep up uh, with your colors so you don't have to use the eyedropper tool all the time. So now I can switch back and forth. Going back to the jacket, no problem. Just switch back to the green. And now grab your paintbrush and start painting. Now this is important. Make sure you always click on the layer first 
before you start painting. So now I'm going to switch back to blue and now I can continue painting the jeans. Always click on your layer first before you paint. Otherwise this is going to happen. Check it out. If I click on the jacket layer, I'm still using blue and I'm put, painting my jeans. Oh, I, need, I need to get rid of that. Let me click on my jeans layer to erase that. I messed up. Why is it erasing? It's because it's on the jacket layer. See if I turn everything off, you can see it. There it is. I'm going to close this guy or minimize him. Here we've got four layers. Light blue jacket, green jacket, jeans layer, and the original layer. A fast way to change colors. Let's say I'm not happy with this blue. I want to change it to something else. Maybe a dark green. No problem. Click on your light blue layer. At least that's what I call this one. I'm going to turn the layer on and off to make sure this is the right one. And it is. And now this is so neat. If you go to a select at the top of the page and click on load selection, it selects everything. We're going to say new selection. The channel is going to be the light jacket transparency. That's this. Hit OK. It selects everything on the light blue jacket layer. Now I can pick any color. I'm going to go with green. And instead of using my paint bucket, which you can use the paint bucket to do this, Notice it didn't get everything. Edit undo. I would suggest going to uh, edit at the top of the page and using fill instead of the paint bucket. That way it ensures that you get everything painted. And it says use what? Do you want to use the foreground, background? What do you want? You want to use the foreground color because the foreground right now is green. See? It's green. Hit OK. And now look. Isn't that nice? Changed all my colors like that. Now I need to get rid of my selection. In order to do that, go up to select at the top of the page, deselect. You can also press Control D on the keyboard for Windows and Command D on the keyboard for Mac. Okay, that's all the time we have for today. My name is Tommy Hodges and thank you for watching DigitalMediaTutorials.com. Now let's go to part four where I show you how to use your selection tools to speed up the painting process.